there guys, how's it going? Welcome to this lesson. Uh, we've got a little bit of a double kick fill for you, um, but it's, uh, it's more of a kind of coordination thing. We're going to be applying some accents. Uh, if you don't have a double kick pedal, which is where you've got like two bass drums or a, uh, a pedal that allows you to play two feet on one bass drum, uh, you can still have a go at this fill. You just do the hand pattern, which is tricky enough. Um, but all the uh, hand pattern is going to be is just all 16th note singles. You look at the notation, it just, just snares and bass drums. Kind of the whole way through. Um, but the whole way through with the hands and the feet, we're going to be doing singles. So just right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And with the bass drum as well, right, left, right, left, right, left. And that's quite a coordination challenge for a lot of people, especially if they're new to double kick. So just trying to keep that right, left, right, left on the bass drum and do it with the hands at the same time. And then as you speed that up, that can be tricky too. So just trying to get that. There's a, there'll, there'll tend to be a lot of kind of flamming between them. So you'll have like your, your hands and your feet will almost like they've got different brains. will just go different speeds and you get this kind of. And everything kind of falls apart and goes at its own speed. Um, so trying to coordinate the hands and feet together can be a little bit tricky. Um, but that's a good exercise to get started. Um, but then we're going to try and apply some accents in there. Uh, and trying to just uh, just play a louder note. And you can see in the notation we've got these light, little weird triangle things. They're accents. You just add a little more intensity uh, to the note. Uh, and on the snare drum, uh, if we just try and practice that first, we're just going to try and do it on every one in three. So a bit of a grouping exercise here. So we're just going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and make those ones louder. Um, but they're going to fall on different hands. So we're going to start with a nice loud right followed by left, right, and then a loud left, right, left. So one, two, three, one, two, three, right, left, right, left, right, left. And when we're playing those threes, you want to make sure that you're lifting your hand up as early as possible. So again, lifting up and right, left, right. And as I'm doing that last right, you can see that left hand's coming up ready. We don't want this. Right, left, right, right, get the hand up because with accents, it's all about preparation. And again, if you're struggling with this or new to this, just go through my accent courses and there's all sorts of kind of, it's in the dynamic section on the website, but just getting those loud notes in there and it's all about preparation and getting ready. So right, left, right, so as that right's happening, two things are happening. Right hand's going down, playing a small note, left hand's coming up and playing it loud, but I'm assuming you've already got that down. Um, but that's the groups of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we're going to keep doing that until we get to the last group of four, where we're going to play two loud notes and two soft notes. So we're going to have right, left, right, so loud, loud, soft, soft. Oh, again, really trying to get the hang of those dynamics just there. Uh, and then as you uh, kind of speed that up, it all adds up to 16. So again, what's it going to be? It's going to be five groups of three. Uh, no, sorry, four groups of three. And then that little group of four to end off the phrase. So again, just getting the hang of those accents. Uh, and then whilst that's happening, we're gonna do uh, just continuous 16ths on the bass drum, not necessarily trying to accent those beats, although you can, um, but just keeping them going underneath is enough. And again, trying to keep a certain level of intensity. Uh, and this kind of pattern happens a lot on, uh, you know, say it's like prog rock songs where, you know, say the guitars kind of stand, and you're trying to follow that. Down, 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 down. And with the uh, inclusion of the double kick in there, it just creates a really kind of dense and thick sound. So that's what we're looking for there. Now you can, if you don't have to for this, fill, you can if you want to try and get those accents on the double kick. So for that, you're lifting your foot up and going stomp and then left, right, left, right, left. And that's a great exercise to try and get into. And that would sound like this. And again, trying to get those loud notes. Okay, da -da 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 -da. And again, but it can be tough on the double kick at this point. So for now, just focus on the coordination, but feel free to try and get that in there if you want to. Um, but all in all, keeping that going, whilst you're doing the, uh, that kind of louder pattern on the top. So it will sound like this when you get the double kick going and you have the accents with the hands. And 
can see it's got a really kind of ferocious sound. Uh, and then really great going into just a straight double kick pattern. So say just playing eighth notes with the hands normal kind of eighth note groove and then just trying to keep that continuous 16th on the kick. And then that way you don't actually need to think about your feet much. You just set them going doing 16ths and then you just focus on doing the accent pattern and then go into a groove and that would sound like this. And you get the picture. Of course, you can then go into some like syncopated uh, double kick patterns and things, uh, but I'll leave that one for now. But really great exercise just to kind of get your uh, 4D coordination, I call it, or non, uh, yeah, 4D non-linear coordination because there's multiple things, multiple layers happening at the same time. Different to linear, 4D linear coordination where you've got all four limbs doing one thing at a time. So for example, the kind of classic metal quads, right, left, kick, kick using all four limbs, but there's only one at a time, which means you can get them pretty quick. Um, but for this one, it's layers. We've got something happening with the feet, and then whilst we're doing something on the top at the same time with the hands, are usually a little bit tougher for the coordination side. So anyway, I hope that all makes sense. Great exercise to get into. You guys take care. I'll see you soon.